Why hello there fellow craftsmen, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Rimworld Lycan Legion. Episode 41, Guest Furnishings. And we have a conversion. So Nabla has now converted. Uh, Daris, let's use your Preach conversion. And Nabla, you're getting enslaved. With a will of zero, that should be like same day. Or nearly same day. Oh, that's crummy. I was hoping... I think for the guest beds that are paid, I want excellent plus. Just because it will help with room quality. So that's what I'm aiming for. And then I'll probably also furnish them as well. With like marble or something. We'll see. So this slave quarter is like plenty warm now. This prison isn't, but that's just because it's missing a pipe. So, Doris, let's have you do that. And Ray is now headed out with... Oh, I should have brought that shield, too. With the travel wear and some ruined food that he wanted, or she, sorry, wanted to uh, bring. We still haven't even hauled the last uranium that landed here. Randy seems to like this area. This is, I'm going to call this uh, the Polonium District or something. Did I bring the horns to dump? I don't think I did. Oh, maybe? It's actually possible that the horns get sold on the, um, the forum, though, too. No, I, I dumped them. Or, I don't even know where they are. If I didn't dump them, I lost track of where they are. They're not here at base. So, I must have done that. Yeah. Good. Alright, prison is now warm too. So here's the heat map. The villa is obviously super warm. What isn't warm is Foen's uh, quarters. And I think it's worth heating there as well. Because I, you know, don't need someone dying because of that. Oh, Quere, you're visiting our lovely Pantheon? And you were like, oh, I'm out of here. Oh, you ate without a table. Oh, no! The travesty, the horror. If only there was something that we could have done to prevent that. Actually, is that what made you upset? Oh, no, you just crapped outside. <laughs> you know you have a dedicated bathroom, girl. It's literally your own jade latrine. You didn't need to poop outdoors like a buffalo. Whatever. They're... I mean, I've heard... Yeah. As far as Roman senators go, pooping outdoors is not the weirdest thing they do. Let's leave it at that. Let her freak fly. Yeah. So the flooring to the guest quarters is um, nearly done. And then the rest of the furniture shouldn't be too much effort compared to the rest of the project. Meaning that we're, we're making some pretty good progress. I'm not ready to take on another task, obviously, because it's not done. Uh, but it is getting close to being done. Or closing in on being done. We don't have uh, heat in here yet. And then if we do want heat in there, I'm obviously going to need another log boiler because our demand is going to exceed our capacity. Especially with all these new heated areas that I just added. I like, I like the way the city looks in the winter pretty mm. 
Okay. Nabla is enslaved. So. Slave clothing, slave meals, slave drugs, slave zoning. What were you good at again? Uh, farming? Okay. And medicine. So you're like a herbalist. I'll allow it. We have a very low population of capable medical practitioners. And you are also, once you get your clothing on, I'll have you stop by the styling station. Because you are going to need a zzz. Pretty good. So all that's left is Tokus. That shouldn't take too long. Alright, quest complete. So we got the Legendary Gladius and the Uranium Centurion armor. Awesome. Uh... Their slave offerings are the same, because they haven't refreshed. Uh, I already knew that. So let's return home. Back to Light Canair. Trade fulfilled. So now, we're just waiting on guest logic. Working as fast as I can. Hungry pen animals. Alright, sounds like it is time for... Who is the nearest slave? Nabla. Open, open... Open. Open, open. I've never actually used like hay storage like this before. And it's like it's pretty handy. It makes it really easy to uh to have like open grazing with supplementary food. So I gotta I gotta remember this technique for the future. Cause it's it's quite effective. So when there's things to graze, they graze, and then at winter, you open up the doors to the hay supply, and you're just like, hey, have your fill. Scala's working on the plumbing. I want to put the heating in last. Um, hmm. I'm like contemplating whether I want to... Because I don't need to heat all these rooms if they're empty, right? So I'm a little worried about the amount of heating costs for heating like empty rooms, but... I don't know, whatever. We're trying to gain influence amongst the world, so if we have a little bit of, like, excess, maybe that helps us. I'm not ready for that yet, though. Are the rooms with the geysers warm? Ah, uh, they're warm-ish. The animals aren't going to suffer. They're above freezing. Actually, they're pretty warm. They're warmer than my current office right now. Uh, I might even turn the, the heating on where I am now. Not for me, but for Yoda, because he's a little bit more sensitive. One sec. There we go. Cold doesn't really bother me, but I think my... The room I'm in right now is like... 15C, like low 60s Fahrenheit, which is kind of not comfortable for that little guy. Although he's under a blanket, he's fine. He thinks I gave him another treat. Oops, I didn't. Sorry, pal. So we're getting pretty close to having this done. Um, I don't know how fancy I want the triclinium. 
probably not too fancy. Maybe what I'll do is move one of the... Actually, I don't like the aesthetics of group tables. This is just so that like people can group um, meet each other in the forum. I think... Hmm. I don't think of this. So our triclinium over here needs to somewhat mimic this one. Um, I will say it probably needs better lighting than the triclinium that we have over yonder. This triclinium is like oddly pretty dark, but that's just because so many of us are wolf bloods and want it dark. And then we're going to need to import food. So I probably want to offer simple food for free. I think I need two, two tricliniums. And I'll explain. Um, so the way that the hospitality plus gastronomy mod works is... Oh, that's weird. Uh, that's a bug. Uh, let's ignore that. Is that um, they can order food from a cash register and then pay for it. This only works when they have money. So we want like two dining spots. One that has simple meals where they can feed themselves for free, and then a second one where it's waited on. So maybe what I'll do is in the uh, the cheap lodging area, I will have simple meals and like a, a simple dining table so that they can feed themselves. But if they want finer dining, uh, they come into the triclinium and they order from a waiter. I think that's probably the best course of action. So I'll design with that in mind. And Ray. Now that you're back. Let's do some hunting. And Doris, I think you are due a legendary Gladius. Going uh you already have a legendary? Actually, what does more damage? Twenty twelve five. This is probably another 12.5 or 12.4. No, keep your Gladius. Uh, Tranlary, you get it. I would not have thought, but yes. And then Myla, you get this one. Hand me ups instead of hand me downs. Lullapore's kin member is here. Decima. How are you related? Some sort of kin, distant kin. Not very important. All right, Ray's a little pissy, but uh, we're on a group hunt. Hopefully they'll keep it together. Now, it's not quite freezing temperatures yet, so I don't want to overhunt because it will um, thaw and get ruined. But a few extra will be nice. A little extra meat in the, uh, in the butchery. Raise on a binge. Ruck deprived? I don't recall restricting you. Alright, whatever. They're a citizen. It's, it's fine. No breaks while drafted still applies. Yeah, so any of the benefits that you have, so Krafus's, Davis's uh, benefits, uh, colonists drafted can't have a mental break, still apply. We haven't, like, lost that, and I don't see that we're going to anytime soon.
Uh, what kind of simple meal? It was just standard simple meals that we're making for the slaves? Standard veg meals? Uh, I think we have enough corn for that. Okay. So, there'll be ten veg meals on that shelf. And then... Dolores and Lillipore. Dolores is married to Caesar. Uh, which Caesar? <laughs> uh, where is your... I don't even see... But, whatever. They're both slaves in our colony. I don't really care. I'll even put your beds together. Slave beds, when, like, reinstalled, should remain slave beds and not immediately revert back to colonist beds. Doesn't make much sense. There's going to be a lot of uh, skylights to place here, I think. I might not work to fully illuminate this room. That'll be good enough. So we have a lot of uh, glass smelting to do. So I'm going to unsuspend that. And then let's do the triclinium. Oh. That worked out. It'll be a little dark spot there, but it'll be fun. So it's coming together. Then within the triclinium, I'm going to have marble furniture. So I'll probably put a table up front, like a hostess station, with the cash register on it. And then we'll want shelving here for the meals that we will offer as uh, for purchase. My own citizens eat for free, but uh, but guests don't. Unless they're senators. So this is for guests only. And it's a room, right? Oh, yep. public bathroom. Let's heat that up. Put a radiator here next to the bathtubs. Uh, the skylights look a little weird. Like a save and load will fix it. Sometimes just like a day night cycle will fix it. So I'm not too worried about the weird shadows that are being casted because they'll go away. Oh, Dale Pierre is trying to build. I probably don't want you to do that. You can build floors, but not furniture. Let's make an iron cash register. And then on the other half of that table, um, maybe there's a prop that would look nice. little jar of hibiscuses. 
seems to work. These guys' quarters are really coming together. They'll soon be... occupied. So the really nice ones, I don't think anyone are going to rent them at 50 silver a day. But that's what I'm going to put them at. It has attractiveness of, well, like 130 or so. Uh, and I do intend to put more furniture in here. Into these places. Um, so we'll get we'll get to that. And the, here we'll be free and free food as well. I don't really care about the quality of the beds because, again, it's free. And what I want is, like, the more expensive rooms to be priced at a price point where they're more attractive than the free rooms so that they're actually drawn to them. Uh, so if people with many money come to visit... Ouch. 140 Ambrosia. If people with money come to visit, um, they, are, you know, move into the nicer bedrooms, ideally. Uh, in here... Oh, you know, I don't have a sauna room for them. But, uh, whatever, I don't care. So let's do... To save room, let's do three dining tables. And then... Down here we can do... Poker and billiards. So very, they'll even have nicer triclinium than even we do, because our triclinium doesn't have that, because it was never voted on. It just kept losing. There's the, the seats. And then we'll need seats for the poker. I don't need the fillet, I don't think. That should, that should be fine. Uh, then the last thing we want is shelves for the meals that we'll serve. So I might want to widen our food variety so we have like simpler desserts and um, bringing in grill meals and fine meals and things like that over here. That will be kind of the last step once everything else is built up. The other issue is, of course, the meals are going to rot quickly. So we, it's, 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 it's kind of an annoying situation where it's like, a lot of micromanagement to only have meals when we have guests. So more than likely, there is going to be a lot of meals here that are like eaten by our patricians that are not waited on, but that's fine. Um, this dining room will be for guests only, though. So I'm going to zone restrict them for no and, and rename the no villa access to no villa or guest access. So this is really going to be guest only. But it's not as important to keep our people out. Alright, Trailer Marie, I think we are good to have you actually do some construction now. Looking at our granite pile. Have yourself a beer and, and go help out with that. That stool's too good, dude. Slow down. Tokus, are you still... Good... Goodness. Can you just convert already? He's a tough one. His asceticism and his apostasy is a bad combination of holdouts. This is not a gather spot. Bebo. So the simple meals have an equal importance to the ones over here. Uh, this probably needs to be more important. Which means for the amount of simple meals that I make, I'm going to bring it up to 20. 
I also see that I'm very low on veg. I would hate to have to remove the Devil Strand, but... Well, actually, you know what? I am going to remove the... Heal Root for now, as we have a lot of Heal Root. That should be okay. We have a lot of cheese, too. I can have that just be a meal. Um, it keeps for a long time. So it's kind of like pemmican in that letting it stick around for a while is not a terrible idea. Or egg meals. But raw eggs is not so good. I'd have to cook them. Same with milk. We have 300 milk. Uh, Dolores. You're a... Neanderthal? You should be alright. Oh my god, you're fine. Punch in the head and neck. Yeah, you're, you're fine. Zug Zug wins again. Anathols are like that. Punching uh, Ibex to death. Yeah, that's like day in the life of the Anathol. It's really no problem at all. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do, exactly. We are in agreement. Tools have made us weak. Well, for humans, it made us the apex. Maybe weak apex, but still apex. Speaking of duels, Quare, you're running around with an iron spatha? I mean, hey, whatever. It's... That's fine. It's obviously ornamental. We're not going to separate you from your or ornamental weapons. Now, I did say I was going to decide uh, what we actually sell in the dining room here later. I'm, uh, I don't want to figure it out right now. And I'm fine with these slaves eating here for now. But once we have guests, I'll obviously uh, change that. And that actually might be that I should... Um, I might want to offer up like simple grills or some other type of meal so that the slaves eat something different than the guests they eat for free so that they're easy to control in that way. That might be an idea going forward. Also, I'm fairly certain I said a stack limit of 10 here. I don't see that that is being enforced. I'm going to do stack limit of five because it counts both sides of the shelf as a part of the stack. So the billiards is nice. Unfortunately, my uh, <clears throat> my people aren't going to have access to that pretty soon. Foen, you're very hungry. Isn't there food for you to eat? Like, I'm staring at food right here. Oh, you're not allowed in there. So here's the, is the issue. Um, cheese shouldn't be here at all. Cheese has been filling up the, like, food shelves to the point where the slaves don't even access to their own food. So I'm fixing that. His access to his food got blocked because of cheese. Kind of funny. Yeah, we have a lot of cheddar. Exactly. Darce is uh, breaking in the pool table. It's fine. 
It's just funny. So the attractiveness of these beds is... Excellent bed is a little higher. Uh, I think I'm going to uninstall the excellent bed. Or beds. Because I, I want to accommodate, I don't want to have to deal with a range of attractiveness. That gets annoying. So maybe I'll try to have Scala build those uh, these beds so that they're lower quality. Why aren't you building them though? And this dining room is very impressive, which is good. In fact, maybe we move the uranium masterwork sculpture in here. We can call this the uh, the Red Burglar dining room. This piece bears an artwork of a city. At the edge of the image are nine priests. The image contrasts patience with destruction. Hey, Del Pierre. Bad news, dude. The crapper's full. Get to work. You canious murdering bastard. Poker table isn't quite as nice, but, you know, oh well. And here's the cash register. So in the cash register, if we only allow guests, once it's opened, it needs to be waited on. We only allow guests, and we can decide what we serve up. Uh, we can say, hey, only serve, you know, a certain subset of food. And then whatever we decide is on the menu, we just store here. So, bakes, grills, whatever it is. And um, once Tokus actually converts, he's going to be the dedicated waiter. Because he has social skill. Um, and then guests will pay to be waited on. And then uh, this is going to be free. So restaurant one. This is the red burglar. I'm just going to call it red. Well, should we give it the red? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't call it the red burglar. I don't really want them stealing our food. Um, I haven't thought of a name for it yet, so I'm just going to call it the guest triclinium. I call it the Red Burglar. I feel like I feel like McDonald's is gonna be like, "Hey, copyright infringement, trademark infringement. You're not the Hamburglar. Get out of here." Yeah, I don't. I don't want to encroach on their trademark. <laughs> Let's have a variety of decorations here. Looks nice. Very impressive dining room. You know, maybe because of all the ambrosia. Ambrosia room. You know, I, I, I think that works. And here's the work shift for when it's opened. Um... And this is the radius of the Ambrosia Room. It's uh, just this room. I like it. So we'll decide on the menu soon. Uh, once we provide heat and everything. Speaking of heat, we're about to have to ramp that up. Oh, also speaking of heat. Office is now, like, extra warm. There we go. I want the little guy warm, but I don't want to cook myself. You like my lumberjack chic? Thank you. 
I know I look glorious, but it's nice for others to appreciate my, uh, <laughs> my, my fashionable attire. That was a joke. Myla, you changed your armor again? Quit doing that. This isn't fast fashion armor show. It's you're on duty. Quit changing how you look. So, I think we will try for large radiators here, here, and then small radiators everywhere else. That obviously is going to require an additional source of heat. Put one in. Oh, we're finally breaking this nonsense down. Man, that has been a long time coming. Just because we've been construction backed up for forever. Uh, so for menus, I want to offer the guest dining something fundamentally different than um, than what our colonists eat, so that's easy to keep them apart. So I'm going to offer them cheese. Uh, fine desserts. Um. Fine stews. And I'll have to start making stews. Oh, well, they shouldn't all be on the same. So, cheese on this shelf. So we're going to name this, uh, Ambrosia Cheese. Shelf. Very fancy. Uh, on this one. This will have a stack limit of, let's say, 10, or uh, we'll, we'll reduce to 5. I don't necessarily want to accommodate, like, I don't know how many guests we're actually going to have, so I don't want a bunch of food wasted here. So on this shelf, and that, that should be important. On this shelf, it will be fine stews. Stack limit of 5. Uh, the allow rotten isn't rotten food. When food rots, it just disappears. That's that's moot. I don't need to worry about that. Um, maybe a fine bake. So we'll have fine bakes and fine stews. And then lastly, fine desserts. So, uh, dining... Find bake, find stew, find dessert, and cheese. Sounds pretty good. I'd eat there. So the bakes are... So, to prepare a fine stew, I'm going to do until I have one prepared stew. And raise this up. Uh, let's get rid of some of the other meals and then I need a stew pot to actually put the stew on and then the bakes fine bakes we'll do until we have we'll do batches of eight And the other thing I need to do for these is I'll allow milk and unfertilized eggs. That's fine. Uh, vegetarian, but I don't want to include jerky. Okay. So the fine stews are set and the fine bakes are going to follow the same rules. Uh, flour. So I'm going to need to start processing flour and growing uh, wheat for the bakes. All right. Well, let's prep that. Uh, sorry, Devil Strand. I wanted to leave you alone, but I'm not going to. We are going to be growing wheat here. Make sure you don't sell any legendary cheese. I'm actually fine with it. I don't really care. And there's not... Well... Hmm. No, maybe I'll, I'll do... 
awful to masterwork quality cheese. I don't know if it's going to even work, but we'll see. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Lycan Legion, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 13th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Lycan.